Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Being able to teach you through the internet is amazing. No matter where you are in the world, you can learn from these lessons, but we can't actually play together. Right now, there's no way for us to do that in real time, but I do have the next best thing. I'm starting a new series called Let's Play Together. This is episode one. And in this series, I'm gonna be putting up recordings myself, playing some standards, and I'm gonna be leaving space for you to trade with me so you can practice along with me or even record yourself and edit it together. So it's like we're playing the same song, trading back and forth with one another. If you go to the top of the description down below or just go directly to davepollock.com slash simple blues, you're gonna be able to download the worksheet that goes along with this episode, as well as the audio files of the two recordings that I made, as as well as a backing track that I made just for you to be able to practice with. Speaking of this song in this video, I'm gonna be starting with a simple blues. Now what I call simple blues is a one, four, five blues. That's just a 12 bar blues, and I'm gonna be using concert B flat blues, the people's key, and the chords are only gonna be the one chord, which is B flat seven, the four chord E flat seven, and the five chord F seven. If you have trouble with the chords or you don't know what they are, don't tune away because I actually give you a way to play over the song without thinking about the chords at all. In a minute, I'm gonna play the video of me doing the two versions of this song, and I'll explain what those are in a second, and I'm gonna include those audio files as well for you to download. But before I do that, I actually wanna explain the worksheet a little bit and how the entire process is gonna go if you're a little bit confused. All right, so right here you see the worksheet called Let's Play Together, Concert B-flat, Simple Blues. This is the worksheet if you click the download link. I'm gonna be using C instruments just to make it easier because I don't know what instrument you play. So this is all concert pitch. There are three different versions, concert pitch, B flat, and E flat. So make sure you download and look at the correct one for your instrument. I first just put the chords for the 12 bar blues just so you have them just as a reference. You know, you can do whatever you want with those, but I'm gonna be showing you a couple other things right now. So those are the chords. If you go down here, this is the concert B flat blues scale. Now. The first recording I'm gonna show you, I'm only using the concert B-flat blues scale. And when you do the trading with me, I only want you to use the concert B-flat scale as well, concert B-flat blues scale. The reason being, it works over the entire B-flat blues and it helps you simplify what you're thinking about note-wise so you can focus on, you guessed it, the non-note musical elements. You know I'm big on that. Rhythms, motifs, dynamics, articulation, all those things that don't have to do with literal notes and harmony. That's what I want you to focus on when you're trading with me. No matter what, you should be focused on that anyway, but I'm giving you just the blue scale so you don't have to worry about chord changes and licks and two fives and blah, 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 blah. Just learn these six notes of the concert B-flat blue scale and you're gonna be able to trade back and forth with me. Speaking of that recording, I'm now gonna play the recording that I made where I left space to trade with you over the B-flat blues only using the concert B-flat blue scale. And yes, this is the one I want you to download the audio file of. So if you wanna record it yourself, you can do it, or you can record it over this video that you're about to watch as well as part of this overall YouTube video. But I wanna explain kind of the roadmap. First, I do a chorus, 12 bars of soloing. Once again, only use the blues scale. Then I leave space for you to do a chorus of the blues. Then we're gonna trade fours for two choruses. So it's gonna be four, four, four. Then the second chorus of fours, four, four, four. Then we're gonna do one chorus of twos. So two, 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 two. And then the final chorus is gonna be us playing together. So you'll see me do this and I want you to play over top of what I'm playing. Now that's just gonna be kind of chaos and, and go crazy or whatever. But before that, when we're actually trading and I'm leaving space, what I want you to try to do is not necessarily play exactly what I'm playing and just repeat it back to me like a call and response ear training exercise, but if we were trading in a concert, what would you do? If I gave you some little rhythmic idea, how would you respond? Would you continue the idea? Would you try to repeat the idea? Would you play something completely opposite? Like if I play something really loud, maybe you'll play something really soft to contrast it. There's no right answer. I'm just giving you the options for what you can do and what sounds good to you because what sounds good to you might not sound great to someone else, but that's the great thing about it. It's very personal. So without any further ado, here's the recording of me playing the 12 bar blues only using the concert B flat blues scale, trading with you. Have fun.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that trading back and forth using just the blue scale. And I hope when you practice this and maybe even record yourself doing this, you think about those non-note musical elements and not get too you know, in your head with chord tones and trying to do all these other things. It might actually be hard for you to only play the blue scale. I know for me it was because I like doing chromaticism and you know some other sounds and leading tones and whatnot. But here you're going to have to just stick to that scale and see what you can do with it. Now, if you look further on in the worksheet, you're going to see it says chord tones root position. So these are the chord tones, the one, the three, the five, and the flat seven, which is a dominant seven chord for the one, the four, and the five chords. The one chord in this case being B flat seven, the four chord being E flat seven, and the five chord being F seven. So I'm going to do the exact same thing again. One chorus me, one chorus you, four, 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 two, 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 two together. But Instead of using the blue scale and instead of using anything else, what we're going to do is every measure, you're only going to be playing the chord tones over that particular chord. So this can get a little tricky, especially in the trading. So when we do fours, you have to realize that when I start here, I play these first four bars, you're going to be starting over the four chord. So you can't just start at the beginning. So you got to be following along. This exercise is not only good for listening to what I'm literally playing, but it's good to listen for the changes of the blues and to be able to know where you are in the form. When we trade twos, same thing. At some point, you're going to be coming in here, here, and here, which if you notice is all B flat seven, but it's still important to be able to follow along with the blues. And the cool thing is you can do this exercise with your friends, whatever you want. You can do it in person, obviously, but I think this is going to be a really cool series that we do together. And I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of different songs. And I can't wait to see some of the recordings that you send me or you post online. I'll talk about that a little later as well. Without any further ado, though, let's get into the recording of the 12 bar blues playing only chord tones trading back and forth. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that trading. Why is doing a trading call and response back and forth so awesome? Well, along with just having fun playing with someone else, it's a great way to train your ear and to listen musically to what's going on around you. So many times when we're practicing, we're using a backing track or a metronome or something, and there's no interaction with it. So we kind of lose that side of the musicality. Sure, we may be playing great things, but part of what makes music great, and especially live music, with other people is that interaction between the musicians. And I know this isn't exactly that, but this is as close as we can realistically get with the technology we currently have. Why did I pick a simple blues to start? Well, I wanted you to focus on those non-note musical elements. I really wanted you to focus on just creating music 
and responding musically and not worrying about notes, not worrying about harmony. That's right, notes doesn't equal music. I've talked about that a million times before, but I truly believe that. Notes are just you know, something you do to make things sound different, different songs, different harmony, whatever. Music is all those other things, the interaction. It's what you do to those 12 different tones that we're playing. If you feel comfortable enough to record yourself doing this, either just with the audio I provided or you actually like cut out this video and you put yourself side by side or something like that, it'd be awesome for me to watch it. I would love to check out some of your recordings. So if you do that and you post it online, send me the link. Or if you just want to maybe send me a video, you can email me at info at davepollock.com. You can send a Google Drive link. You can put an unlisted YouTube video or a public YouTube video. Like I said, you can put it on Instagram, tag me at Dave Pollock Music. Whatever you want to do, it would be great. And I would love to check out what you did with this. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different songs in this series. And I want to hear from you. What songs do you want to trade with me on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.